Hello, Katie and my naturalhappiness.com creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster wheel to happiness, founder of Reading School of Reiki. How are you? How are you feeling? How is your week going? Have a quick check in and just go, how am I feeling? So uh, this week I thought I would talk about what happens if you keep doing things the way that you're doing things. What happens if you keep going in the same cycles that you're going in at the moment. They may be amazing cycles and you may feel incredible and they may be cycles that build you up and tend your soul so beautifully and they may not be. And I just thought I would talk about what happens if you keep going. Are you in an upward spiral or are you in a downward spiral? Where are you right now? And if you're in a downward spiral, what can you do to shift that? And what can you do to take personal responsibility and shift that so that you start going in an upward spiral? Because it is personal responsibility. And it is... It is possible to shift and go into an upward spiral... And it takes work to keep going upwards. And sometimes we go down and then we can go back up. Those who watched last week's video, um, or last week's antics, know that last week was a very difficult week for me. I had an awful lot on. I had two funerals. Um, ended up driving someone uh, back to A&E in hospital Thursday and Friday for surgery. And it was a really, really busy, emotional week. And it was... It was emotionally exhausting all round for everybody involved. So there were a lot of frayed nerves and um, everyone was just tired and grumpy. And ah. and it, it took mindfulness to stop and say no to the world and to do some work on my energy so that I could start going back into the mindfulness, the meditation and create space to get started raising my energy and my vibrations once again so I could see clients and be able to do my job um, and it's taken work and it's taken mindfulness it's taken every tool in the box to be able to get to where I'm at um, thankfully it's what I do uh, and it's taken work and it took a day yesterday I was supposed to do an awful lot and it took a day it was an admin day but it was where I was recording videos and do this and that and I literally just had to admit that I needed to take the entire day as self-care um, it you know and I had to just put everything down and I knew if I didn't do that then I would just be working on exhaustion for a long time. And I'm still having a bit of a self-care day because I'm working in my pyjamas and I'm snuggling up and I'm being kind to me um, because I've created the life where I can do that. And I created it. You know, I was in the corporate environment. I was driving a stupid amount of hours, uh, miles, um, Meeting after meeting after meeting, it utter exhaustion. I was, I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Um, and I have clients who are still in that environment, but have worked some mindfulness and meditation techniques within that so that they can sustain that lifestyle and sustain those jobs and sustain that, that corporate, you know, climb the top of the ladder environment because that's what they choose to do. And I chose not to do that. I chose to step out and to serve people many of whom who are uh, in that environment. But it takes work. It takes work. So when you check in with where you're at, if you're on that upward, like, yeah, things are great, things are great, and I'm meditating every day, and I'm practicing mindfulness, if I, you know, if you're Reiki trained, that if you, you know, you're, you're thinking, great, I'm doing my Reiki every day. If you're doing all of that, then congratulations. Give yourself kudos. And if you've forgotten it or if you, you're, you're on that downward, just think, where, where are you likely to be a year from now if you keep doing the things that you're going to be doing? If you're not standing up and taking personal responsibility for shifting things, 
Where are you going to be a year from now? If you keep doing what you're doing and how can you shift that if you want to shift it? And some people don't want to shift it and some people are absolutely fine in that, uh, doing that. And some people enjoy being miserable um, and that's okay. That's okay. If you secretly enjoy it, it's okay. Uh, and if you want to shift things, there are people out there who can help you. Yes, I am one of them, but I may not be the person for you. Yes, I, you know, as you, anybody knows, I, I, ha- I have clients who I treat all around the world <laughs> because of the magic of the internet. Um, and I'm not here to serve everyone. So if I'm not the person for you, that's okay. Find someone who is um, if you want to shift things. Because... It's possible, and it's personal responsibility, and it's possible. It's possible. So just, I wanted to check in and say, how are you feeling? Where are you right now? Are you on course for where you want to be? Or do you want to shift things? It's always good to just go, have a stop and a check. And be okay with where you're at, because... Taking that time to have awareness to go, this is where I'm at, is huge. And then you can shift things if you want to. So be okay with where you're at. And be okay with just shifting the energy slightly if that's what you choose to do. Be okay. Be okay with it. Yesterday I was not the happiest person in the world. I was tired and so I took, I stepped off the work world for the day and had a self-care day I slept a lot after doing all the driving to you know, hours drive there and back to the hospitals for the surgery two days from A&E till midnight I was tired, I was physically tired and I was emotionally run out and so I took a step off and I slept and I restored my batteries that's what it takes, that's what it takes be kind to you so that is our hump day happiness which is a bit of a reality check. Where are you at? Where do you want to be? Reach out if you want help. Sending you a massive hug of love. Be okay with where you're at. The awareness is huge. And ah, huge hugs. Lots of love. With so much love. Oh, my self-care day. My breakfast is ready. (laughs) Huge hugs. So much love. Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster world to happiness. Founder of Reading School of Reiki. Have an amazing day. Lots of love.